Now let's see the last two uh, options, D and M. They are both toggles, meaning they have two value, two possible values, are they in on or off, and then the system behaves differently <coughs> if they are on or off. Now the interesting one is the M one, which uh, is a move mode, meaning that uh, the number, the hidden number, can change. So ev after every guess, it will change a little bit, and then it makes the game a lot harder. But in order to debug that, it's probably much easier to already have the debug mode there. So we'll start with the debug mode and then we'll probably do a separate video uh, adding the move mode. So the debug mode needs a um, um, var variable here. Let's uh, go to the uh, file. Uh, the debug mode needs some kind of a variable that it's on or off all the time. So we have to have a global variable here, my debug, and we set it to nothing, so it's false. Uh, we can set it, let's, let's set it to zero, just to have some value, and then we'll switch between zero and one. Uh, and then, so we start with zero, and then what the debug mode does, it is, is prints the hidden value every time before the uh, guess. So here we say that if the debug mode is on, then we would like to print out. Oops. We would like to print out the the hidden value. So print hidden value is um, hidden. So it's, it's similar to the, to the S, right, uh, below here. It's funny, yeah, I was just pointing with my finger. Uh, anyway, so it was uh, hidden, uh, it's uh, like the it lies the guess, like this one, like uh, the cheating, but it's constantly will happen when the debug mode is on. And then the new line. So that's it. Uh, if, it if we are in debug mode, we con constantly will print out the value. Now, how do we turn on and off the debug mode? I think we wanted to have the letter D for this, yes. So we can come any, anywhere here, let's say here. So we say if the user is pressing, if it was, if it, the user pressed D, then we have to change the debug mode and then go to the next iteration because that's not a guess. And how do we change the deb uh, the the value? So if it's zero, then we want to set it to one. If it's one, we want to set it to zero. So for that, um, the ternary operator can be very useful. If debug is true, then set it to one. Otherwise, set it to to one. Sorry. If debug is true, set it to zero. Otherwise, set it to 1. So this would change the value of, of debug from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. Now let's see how it works. I run the script, and uh, if I guess now 100, nothing happens. 100 is too small, okay, something, um, and I need to guess again. If I press D now, then it will ask me again, of course and tell me that the hidden value is 188. Now let's guess again 120, let's say. And uh, it tells me 120 is too small. This is the normal answer. Uh, asks me for uh, a guess and tells me again that the hidden value is still 188. Obviously this hidden value won't change now because we haven't implemented that part of the exercise yet, but it now has this debug mode. So I can guess again, uh, let's say 130. And then it tells me it's still the same, it's still too small, and tells me the debug, uh, the hidden value. Now let's see if we can turn off the hidden, the debug mode. I press D again, and then it tell, gets me back to asking me the what's the next guess, but doesn't tell me what was the hidden value. So let's say 140 now, and it's still too small, and but it doesn't tell me to. Uh, it doesn't tell me what was the hidden value. So this debug mode now works. It can be either on or off, uh, and every press on the D will 
change between these two modes. Now pressing X will just quit the program.